Welcome to CASAL 114, Creativity and Entrepreneurship. I'm going to provide an overview of class in this video, including a discussion of where you'll find all the course materials, what we're going to participate in during the semester, and why I think this work is important. If you haven't already looked closely and carefully at the syllabus, you might pause this video and do so now. The syllabus provides the big picture perspective of the work we're going to do over the semester. Most college classes on creativity have to do with studying and analyzing creativity, often from a cognitive or psychological perspective, but this isn't a class about the science of creativity. In this class, we're going to be exploring creativity specifically from an entrepreneurial perspective. So this class isn't about creativity for creativity's sake either. We're going to be creative for specific purposes, particular contexts, and deliberate audiences to prepare us for the types of work that we're going to do. The work you'll pursue if you're in the minor in entrepreneurship and innovation at MSU or the work you're already doing as an entrepreneur or intrapreneur. I'm Danielle Nicole DeVos and I'm a professor here at MSU. I teach undergraduate and graduate classes in a public and professional writing program and our rhetoric and writing graduate program. I've taught for NYU and for the University of Louisville. I've taken part in the development of the entrepreneurial ecosystem at MSU for the past few years, especially initiatives in the College of Arts and Letters. And I'm a core faculty member in the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Initiative at MSU. My research in the last few books I published focus on two key areas. First, digital writing and media production, and second, intellectual property issues in digital spaces. One of my most recent books has to do with typography and the ways in which font faces do rhetorical work. For instance, which version of this resume do you feel is more appropriate, professional, and formal? I would suggest it's probably the one on the left set in Times New Roman rather than the one on the right set in Comic Sans. I'm not totally dissing the friendly, childish font face that is Comic Sans. It serves a purpose and was originally created to be the voice of Microsoft Bob, a helper app in Windows 95. Bob originally spoke in Times New Roman, as you can see here, which isn't really a font face we'd associate with a friendly, helpful dog. I used to run the Creativity Exploratory in the College of Arts and Letters, which was a creativity, innovation, and entrepreneurship lab. We had brainstorming rooms and tools, a media lab, a makerspace where I had a laser cutter, plotter printer, digital sewing machine, and more. We regularly bought in speakers and held workshops on a range of topics. We're going to explore the habits and actions of innovative thinkers, the work of successful entrepreneurs, and situate creativity specifically by focusing on inquiry, observation, experimentation, and other creative processes. The overall goal of this course is to equip you with creativity and brainstorming and innovation tools, especially for application in entrepreneurial contexts. Throughout the course, I'm going to emphasize communication. You can have the most creative, innovative idea in the world, but if you can't effectively communicate it to others or implement it in the world, it's not going to go anywhere. I think creativity and communication go hand in hand. So along with the creativity and innovation tools that you leave the class with, you should also leave with enhanced abilities to communicate your ideas. As we're going to create web pages, we're going to produce short digital videos, we're going to work with photos, we're going to pitch proposals and more. That said, you don't have to have a ton of technology skills to succeed in the class. For our assignments, I'll introduce some different tools you can use and provide access to some tutorials. You do have to have a high-speed internet connection. You'll probably need a camera, but your phone will be fine. You'll need access to D2L, and we'll also be using a space called Packback for raising questions and having conversations around class topics. And you will need to have an open mind and a willingness to play, explore, and create. Your grading class is made up of three major activities. First, your participation on Packback. Second, producing two creativity exposure write-ups. And third, completing four creativity quests. Each of these is described in the syllabus and the full assignments and examples will be posted to D2L. 
All of the class materials are linked from D2L. When you head to D2L, you should now see CAS AL114 on your list of courses. The first folder in our class D2L site includes our class syllabus. It's important. Read it and let me know if you have any questions. It provides an overview of the class, a discussion of the major projects, and information about grades. I'll also post the full assignments for class in this folder along with drop boxes where you'll submit your work. Creativity Quest 1, our first major assignment, is posted. You can take a look at it if you like. Otherwise, I'll introduce it next week, week 2. The Creativity Exposures assignment is also posted here. Next, you should see a Packback Overview and Links folder. In it, you'll find a range of materials, including an overview video that I've created about how and why we're using Packback for class discussion this semester. There's information about getting started with Packback a link to Backpack, and more. I'd suggest you watch the intro video, the Packback Overview for class first, and then set up your Packback account. After the Syllabus, Assignments, and Dropboxes folder and the Packback folder, you should see folders for each week of class. And each folder will be set up the same way. First, there will be an overview video that offers an overview of the week. You can watch it on YouTube, you can stream it on D2L as an MP4, or you can read a text-only transcript. Then you'll find the week's creativity readings, creativity cases, and a creativity spark or two. If you have any questions about the D2L materials, please email me and let me know. So that's an overview of our class materials and a quick overview of class assignments. The focus of our first week of class is what is creativity? If we look into this week's folder on D2L, the week one folder, you're going to see we're going to read a short summary piece by an innovation consultancy where the authors pr present a brief overview of creativity, innovation, and some important creativity considerations. Next, you're going to choose at least one TED Talk to watch from a list of 25 TED Talks for creative entrepreneurs. And then you'll explore two initial creativity cases, one a project that IDEO, a well-known global design and innovation firm, is engaging in to address a big global wicked problem, and the other an MSU-born project. Finally, there's an interesting creativity spark to consider for week one. I have one really important piece of advice for succeeding in this class. It's something I mentioned on the syllabus. I would really encourage you to approach this class as you would a face-to-face -face class, especially if you haven't taken an online class before. And what I mean by that is you should set aside some time every week to work on class-related stuff. For instance, on my planner, I've crossed off 8 a.m. until noon on Mondays and Thursdays and then noon to 5 on Sundays to work on class. You might need a little less time, you might need a little bit more time, it's totally up to you, but protecting time each week to work on class materials is absolutely crucial for staying on top of work this semester. I'll be in touch with you regularly on email, by video, and via D2L. Know that you can always email me anytime if you have questions about class, the materials, the projects. Um, we can meet online, um, you can certainly stop by my office, or we can email back and forth anytime during the semester. Welcome to CAS AL 114, Spring of 2020.